So once again, after the cameras turned off last night, I had a little bit of fun. I took the arm that I sealed up yesterday and I filled it with some great stuff foam. <laughs> Unfortunately, my uh, can was uh, mostly empty, so there wasn't a whole heck of a lot left in it. And I didn't have the hose to go on to the end to actually get far enough in here. I just wanted to see if whether you could fill up with foam, what would happen? Does it make it any harder, I mean heavier? And no, it doesn't. But still very hard and very lightweight. So today, pick up where I left off yesterday Join these two halves together, seal it up, and then start work on the torso. All right, it's together. Now we can uh, plaster of Paris over it. Although I just cut up strips of the uh, microfiber cloth, I did go out today and I bought uh, gauze rolls. So I'm just gonna, instead of having to cut it up, I'll just have these things, uh, just use these, cut them into certain length strips, and then I'll have them ready to go. I'm gonna finish up this arm using the microfiber cloth and I'll make up some more plaster of Paris. this aside let it dry and we'll get the torso to do the torso instead of using aluminum foil I used a uh, clear plastic wrap and then I did a little heat shrinking with it with the heat gun that way it'll hold the contour of the uh, body and over this I'll apply the uh, plaster of Paris it should be like the aluminum foil in that it shouldn't uh, adhere to it and I'm hoping that it'll actually even do better than the aluminum foil. This isn't quite the same kind of gauze though that I had in mind. This is a, a far more dense gauze. I mean, maybe it'd be good, but I'm not quite sure how the hell I'm going to be able to cut it open, but we'll see. My initial reaction to using this gauze, at least, so I'm not, I actually like the microfiber cloth better, I think. Seems to blend in better. With this batch, I have actually cut the strips up a little bit smaller so that uh, I'll be able to work with them a little bit easier. And on this batch of uh, gauze, <clears throat> going even smaller with the pieces.
first coat on here and I'm going to let this one set up overnight. Like I said, I think allowing the whole first layer to cure will make for a better form afterwards. The gauze that I used almost became like, you know, like an ace bandage that you would uh, do once it was like uh, soaked in the plaster of Paris, became rubbery, sp spongy almost. But while that, that seemed a little bit of a hindrance and I'm wondering if it's going to be easy to cut through at the end, I, it did actually make applying the uh, gauze easier and harder at the same time. It was harder because like the ends would roll under and stuff like that so I have to constantly like flatten them out. But when I needed to shape it to a certain direction, it would go that direction and it would hold that direction too. When I was using the microfiber cloth, you know, it wouldn't do that. It would fold, it would uh, wrinkle and stuff. So definitely has its uh, drawbacks. It's not, uh, not the one I, I was thinking of. I was thinking of the gauze that's going to look more like cheesecloth. And I had started to cut up the cheesecloth before when I was going to uh, start on this. But I really wasn't liking like how it was going to come out. So I'm just not sure if that's like too open of a weave. I almost wasn't going to do the whole body because it's going to be laying down. So having like a half shell almost of the torso, it would have been like sufficient. But I decided I would uh, do the whole thing. I mean, this is gonna end up being, become part of the lid. It's not gonna just be laying on the lid. It's gonna actually become part of the lid. So it might be unnecessary having done the back, but I figured I would do it anyway, just for completeness. All right, if you like what you see, Give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel if you don't already do so. And let me know in the comments section below if you're foreseeing any pitfalls of this. Something that maybe I haven't thought of yet as uh, a potential problem. Okay, thanks for watching.